Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 242. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link. You can download the workbook, Excel Magic Tricks 233 to 245. Hey, Sudoku puzzles. I think that's how you pronounce them. Uh, here, I'm going to select a 2. And then over here, I don't even know how to play this, but uh, someone asked me about this, and how in the world would you create a drop-down uh, like this that would shrink as you added values and also how you get the color to pop up. So let's see uh, how to do this. All right, um, we're going to start here. We're going to build a little uh, table down below. Start. There's one through nine numbers and in this column I want to have the numbers that are used and then in this column I want the numbers that are left that are not used and then we'll have uh, data val a dynamic named formula to define a range and we'll use that uh, name in data validation. All right, first we need a formula here to check and see if this value 1 is anywhere up here. All right. How about um, equals if, and we're going to have to do an or. And because this is a single list here, uh, range vertically orientated, but this one has three columns that are vertically orientated, we're going to have to do three little things. We're going to ask all of those, and I'm going to hit the F4 because we're locked going down. Is that equal to this? And I actually could s type a comma and then scoop this out right here, copy, and then I'm going to paste and change this to B. And then I'm going to paste this and close out the OR and change this to C. Right, so in essence, this is a beginning part of an array, but there's uh, three different parts. And we're asking uh, one, two, those three different uh, vertically oriented cells. Are any of those equal to D6? Six. If that's any of those are true, then comma, we just want this value right here. Otherwise, we want blank, close parentheses. Right, control shift enter, and then double click and send it down. And sure enough, it's got a three. Now let's do the difference between these two columns. Uh, difference, or no, uh, numbers count numbers left I'm equals uh, count. Actually, since this game is defined just as a nine, right, we can. I mean, that's the upper limit. You could say equals 9 or even click right there, right? Minus count of all these. And I use count because we're counting numbers. So there should be 8, and that's what we want. Now, we're going to do a, a big, long array formula. And this is about the 6th or 7th or 8th time I've done a formula similar to this. Um, but let's go ahead and start it. Equals if. And we're going to start with rows. And we're in F6, so we're going to type F dollar sign 6 colon F6. This is a, a great way of getting a, a running count in your formulas. Right now, it'll give us 1. When we get down to the next row, it'll give us 2, 3. This is locked. This is not, so it expands. If that's less than or equal to this 8 up here, I got the G6, and I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock it going down. If that's the case, then what do we want? Index. Index is a function that will retrieve values if you give it a row number. Right now, we need to um, somehow have index, and there'll be a row of this, this, this. Any of these rows that don't have a number, um, in essence, is the logical test we'll uh, use to then get a value from this range here. But we'll use it with the index function. And index, the array is going to be this whole column here, control shift down arrow, and then F4 to lock it, comma, and the row number. Now here's the tricky part. We're going to use our small and if uh, for and row functions uh, like we've done in past videos. Small, small of what? Well, we need to create an array if, and I'm going to say these values here, F4 are not equal to these values here, F4. So if that's the case, and right now, see, if, um, and we could just uh, F9 this, you know, highlight that and hit F9, you see it gets true, 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 false. So in essence, we're noticing blanks here, right? And there's uh, the 3, which is giving us a, a false. 
Control-Z to undo that, because we're asking not. Are these not the same? <laughs> no, they are, so it gives us a false. All right, if, if right, that's the logical test, a bunch of trues and falses. If, then we want our value of true, and this is where we're going to use our row function. Remember, our goal here is to get an array of um, row numbers for the index. So row of what? I'm going to select this whole thing here, F4, F4. Minus row of this right here, F4, F4. Right now, this is giving us a row 6, 7, 8. But when we subtract this, it'll be 6 minus 6, which is 0. But we don't want that. We want that to be 1, so we add 1. And there are our, and we could, here, let's go like this, close parentheses on the if. We could actually highlight this whole if and hit the F9 key and see, in fact, that it does give us exactly what we want, all of the row numbers. 1, 2, it doesn't have 3, 4, 5. And those will help us retrieve those values. Control-Z. Now, the small is uh, we have the array of row numbers. Now we just need our K. And this is how the trick that allows us to get uh, a new, in essence, a new organized list here, because we'll do our rows. This will give us the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4. So as we copy it down, it'll give us the first smallest row number, the second smallest row number, et cetera. So rows, I'm just going to copy this one here. And then we close off the uh, small. And then finally, we get a, a index. And we have already have our row number. We don't need our column number. So I'll simply close that index off. Finally, it's going to give us the if, and we have that's the value of true, that big huge index. That's this whole thing right there. Right? If I hit F9, you'll see that it gives uh, the number 1, Control-Z, because that's the first value. Finally, uh, we want if uh, the rows are less than that 8 count we have, then we want to blank in the cell. This is an array formula, so you have to hold Control-Shift and Enter. Double click and send it down. See, so notice it's given us a new list, 1, 2. If I uh, come up to the game right now and put a 5 here, right? So the count goes to 7. There's the values there. And then this is that new organized list. Now let's um, create a name here, uh, Control F3. And we're going to use uh, new. Numbers left, that's fine. And then I'm going to come down here and do an offset. Equals offset. And we're going to start right there. Comma, do we want to go up or down or any? No, so we put a 0. Comma, do we want to go left or right any from that starting position? No, so we put a 0. And uh, we need, how tall is it? Well, I'm just going to click right there. That's easy enough because we have a formula. Uh, and then. What is the uh, width? It's always going to be 1, close parentheses. So the offset is helping us define it, di arrange dynamically. I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to do a little trick where we click there. And sure enough, you could see it got it. Close. Now we can come up here. A few more steps. We need to do data validation. I'll highlight the whole thing. In 2007, you go to data, data validation right there. In 2003 and earlier, you go to data menu, data validation. We're going to do a list. I'm going to click in the source and hit F3, which is paste name. What's the uh, numbers left? Oh, it's this one. That's left over from the last time I did it. So it's this one. Click OK. So now as I select values, if I select 1, when I go over here, it's no longer there. Now, I don't know how to play this game at all. I could be totally messing up. But this is, this is a good trick anyway. Uh, the last thing is, how in the world do we get that green to pop up? Uh, home ribbon styles, conditional formatting, new rule. Boop. Uh, in earlier versions, um, Alt-O-D, so formatting menu, conditional formatting. I'm going to hit Alt-O-D. That works in both versions. And look at that. I already have the, the formatting there. It's just is number with a uh, notice that highlighted range. That's the active cell. So that's where your formula has to start. It's just saying, is there a number there? If that's true, then I added this formatting right there. And so there you go. Uh, I wish I knew how to play this game now that I have this little puzzle. All right, we'll see you next trick.